Hey everybody, if you are new to my channel or if you're new to the hobby, then you may get the impression that cyanobacteria is something that gets in your fish tanks and you can simply never get it out. I know I spend a lot of time talking about cyanobacteria. I have it in all my tanks and tonight we are going to talk about why I've got it in all my tanks and why I long ago gave up trying to get it out of my tanks. So first of all, let's talk about what cyanobacteria is very briefly. Uh, I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to be able to tell you specifically what it is, but it's basically a hybrid type of bacterium. It's not truly bacteria because it does have components within it that photosynthesize. So it behaves sort of like algae, but it also behaves sort of like bacteria. So suffice it to say, the stuff is tenacious. It is really, really difficult to get rid of entirely. It can survive in just about any kind of conditions. It's just ubiquitous all over the world. It's everywhere. So getting it in your fish tank is not really that challenging. It's kind of like algae. If you set up an environment that is proper for the algae to survive in, you're just going to get algae in there. I've said this before, you can set a glass of water in a windowsill and walk away and sooner or later that water is going to turn green because algae is going to start growing in it. And if the conditions are right and cyanobacteria is present, cyanobacteria will start growing in it too. So long ago, I got cyanobacteria in my tanks through a variety of methods. I've brought in tons of different rocks and pieces of woodwork and stuff like that directly from the outside. But I also don't scrub my hands before I come in. And I know there's cyanobacteria in the soil outside. We're down here in my basement and I'm not a neat freak by any means. So if you look in my uh, sink basin in the other room or if you look in the, the shower stall where I run all the drains from my um, you know, my tanks when I'm doing water changes and stuff. Those are not particularly, you know, shiny, sparkly, clean places. There's green stuff growing in the corners and everything else. So the cyanobacteria is just around here and it's in my tanks. It's now in all of my tanks. Once upon a time, I really did try to get it out of my tanks because I would see people that would shoot videos about how I did this chemiclean treatment or I did this ultra life treatment or whatever, and I got rid of the cyanobacteria and it's gone and it never came back. And that's great. And that is possible if you're in those circumstances. But if I get cyanobacteria out of one of my tanks, it just gets right back in there. It's just, just going to come back. The only way for me to really eradicate the cyanobacteria would be, first of all, I'd have to eradicate it in every single tank I've got at the same time, which would be more than a challenge. Once I'd done that, I'd also have to sterilize all my hoses, all my nets, any buckets or anything that I've ever used around the tanks. I'd also have to change the way I maintain, you know, the cleanliness of my basement. I'd have to start treating my aquariums like it was a surgery. I'd have to sterilize all the equipment before I did, you know, finish one water change in one tank before I moved into the next. And that's just not my style of keeping fish. I'm just not interested in keeping fish like that. If I had to go through all of that, just to keep fish, I probably wouldn't bother with it anymore. It would just take all the fun out of it for me. If that's your personality, if you like really meticulous stuff and paying attention to every little detail and going through some routine every day or whatever, if that's your personality, then that's great. But that's just not my personality. I don't want fish tanks that are super high maintenance and I gotta be in here constantly tinkering with, or that if I put just a little too much food in, it's gonna knock the balance out of whack and just not interested in those kind of fish tanks. I like fish tanks that I can just come in and look at the fish swimming around and just enjoy them. They're not real fussy. They're not complicated. They're not anything super fancy. They're just my fish tanks that I like to look at and I like to tinker with. So as far as the looking at them, that all just boils down to a matter of personal aesthetics. When I first got into the hobby, um, I was sort of under the impression from the sort of general zeitgeist you would get on the, the YouTubes. Um, if you had algae in your fish tank, you were somehow doing something wrong or you were a bad fish keeper or something to that effect. And then cyanobacteria was even worse. That was like some kind of, you know, unpleasant disease that you caught in some sort of, you know, unnatural way or something like that. You just, the, the, the stigma that was attached to having cyanobacteria in your tank. So I was mortified when I first got cyanobacteria in my tank and I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried to get rid of it. I did everything. I changed the way I maintained my tanks. I changed the lighting. I changed the stocking. I changed the feeding. 
and none of that made any difference. It still kept coming back. And so again, I long ago decided rather than not even keep fish the way I want to keep fish and still have the stuff come back, I may as well just accept the fact that cyanobacteria is part of the world. It's going to get in my fish tanks the same way algae does. And I just deal with it. I've used the uh, example of, you know, when you mow your lawn, you don't just mow your lawn and walk away never having to mow your lawn again. The grass grows back and you're going to have to be out there mowing your lawn again. And algae, cyanobacteria, that's all just part of tank maintenance for me. I've got some tanks that never ne really need treatment for the cyanobacteria. It's just kind of in the tank, but it's not too big of a deal. And then I have other tanks where it does really kind of get on top of the tank and it starts looking really you know, even by my standards, which are, you know, honestly, the only standards that matter. These are my aquariums, um, you know, and then I'll get in there and I'll do something. I also have, you know, motivational issues and I have trouble getting down here and getting tanks cleaned up, you know, as much and frequently as I should and so on and so forth. And, you know, all that comes reflecting in what my tanks look like. But the difference is I don't shoot my YouTube videos for the sake of, presenting what could be a beautiful tank or this is how you're supposed to keep your tanks or this is what a tank should look like i just share my tanks with people and if today they happen to be in need of maintenance and they got a bunch of crap in them that's what you're going to see today if tomorrow they're nice and shiny and pretty and clean and i just finished the maintenance that's what you're going to see tomorrow because they're just my fish tanks i'm just sharing them with people so once i got over the stigma of the idea that having algae in your aquarium made you a bad fish keeper or having some cyanobacteria made you a bad fish keeper, then I just made my peace with it. Like I said, I've decided I'm not being held to anybody else's standards. If you think cyanobacteria looks terrible, then you can get in your aquarium and pull your hair out trying to get rid of it. I personally don't mind it. I don't think it looks bad. It just, to me, looks like normal, natural green stuff that's growing in an aquatic environment. I'm always around aquatic environments and I always see green slimy stuff growing everywhere. I see fish swimming around. I see mulm kicked up off the bottom. I see branches and leaves. That looks normal and natural to me and it simply doesn't bother me. I think it's a very natural aesthetic in the tank. It's only when it gets to be too much or it's growing over top of plants or you know there's circumstances. It's just like anything else when it gets to be too much then you have to do something about it or whatever. But if you have a tank where you've just got a tank in your living room or something and you get some cyanobacteria in it, you can probably just get it out of there, do a good chemi-clean treatment or Ultra Life is another product that works really well. Um, some people will say to use erythromycin, but chemi-clean is erythromycin. It's a different form of erythromycin. It's much less, um, you know, it doesn't wipe out your tank quite the way the erythromycin does. Again, I've never used erythromycin, so I don't know exactly how good or bad that is. But the chemically works, it kills it off, it gets it out of your tank, but you've got to get it all out of your tank. If you leave a single cell in there, it's going to grow back. Again, it's just like algae. If you leave any of it behind and the conditions are right, it's going to regrow. And so, you know, make what you want out of that. It is possible to get rid of it, but if you're like me and you keep a lot of fish tanks and you're not real careful about transferring stuff from one to the other and, you know, I'll take plants out of fish tanks and I'll swap them from different fish tanks rather than, you know, and I, I don't sterilize them between any of that kind of stuff. And I'm just, I'm never going to be rid of cyanobacteria. It's just always going to be in my tanks. And since it's there, I mention it, I point it out, you can see it whether I point it out or not. And so it just seems like I'm always dealing with cyanobacteria, but I'm not dealing with it. It's just in my tanks, just like the same way algae's in my tanks. And, and it's just not a big deal to me. So anyway, I'm not really sure if that makes any sense. I've been thinking about this all day. I've got about four different sort of avenues of approach to it, you know, whether to address the stigma aspect of it and say it's okay if you've got algae in your tank. Um, you know, sometimes the new fish keeper needs to be told it's okay if you've got algae in your tank. And especially if you think it looks good, then it's extra okay. You know, it's your aquarium. If you're not bothered by the algae, don't let other people, um, you know, be bothered by it. Uh, I also wanted to, to address the... Uh, sort of maintenance habits and the, the personality, which I touched on a little bit, you know, if I have to keep fish tanks in such a way that requires me to not even have fun and enjoy the hobby, well, I don't even see the point in that. 
So again, you know, long story short, I'm just always going to have cyanobacteria in my tanks. I'm always going to talk about it and mention it. I'll be talking about my chemically clean treatments when I do them because that's just part of what goes on here in my fish room. And that's just what you get. I'm not trying to tell you how to keep your fish. I'm just showing you how I keep mine. And that involves a lot of chemical clean over time. So I hope that wasn't too around in circles and nonsensical. Like I said, I just had a lot of thoughts swirling around in my head today. I wanted to get out there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. You never know what you're going to get from me. Thanks again. I'll see you real soon in the next one.